So I am just on the BJJ Fanatics website, and what's amazing is now we've already talked about uh, gravity is your friend, but there are two other instructionals that you might want to talk about. Recently, I had the opportunity to work with PJJ Fanatics guy, and now we have three instructionals out there. We have escapes and engineer for guys over forty. If you're forty That's or me. more, hey, dig into it. Gravity is your friend. Sit up sweeps. Been there for some time and is really, really getting a lot of attention. And then we have the smash the knee folding pass. Now that's one of my favorites. So if you haven't um, looked at them, take a look. BJJFanatics.com. Welcome to Raw Radio. About architecture? Well, I mean, I can talk about buttresses. <laughs> you can't talk about what? <laughs> buttresses. What is that? See, now who's, who knows architecture? This is all staying in the episode. <laughs> I'm already recording. I don't even want to clap anymore. We are, we are live? Yeah, why not? Uh, we, are, we are live, just so for formality brought, reasons. Hold on. There you go. We are live. You brought up architecture. Architecture. Yeah. Architecture. Like, like we talk about buttresses. <laughs> you know, like you throw these big words from God knows where, and you wonder why I'm confused. Half of the listeners no, don't I don't wonder why you're confused. I think, <laughs> I think you got choked a lot when you were first starting out in, in jiu-jitsu. And Look at my ears. My, there was a lot of triangles that I was trying to get out of. Yeah, None of them successful. Lot, that lack of blood and oxygen. Um, all that knowledge that you should have about normal, regular day life got pushed out and replaced with jiu-jitsu knowledge. That's all. I don't know. So, you know what? I don't know if there's a compliment. Or that's like a little stab insult. It's like it's both. It can be both. It's both. <laughs> yeah. Why can't it be both? All right. Architecture. Let's talk about architecture. Go ahead. How do you? So how do you structure jujitsu from the architecture perspective? Paul talked quite a bit about architecture, creating these layers, creating these zones. You know, I think some of us call this or some people call this, you know, building Legos or connecting dots or, you know, creating layers, creating systems, you know, so on. But like, what are your, th what's your thoughts on that? Uh, I'm too early in this to do it myself. That's my thoughts. So I follow other people's um, blueprints, right? Um, so I, but I have learned that like uh, without an, a, curric a curriculum, um, I think that it's much harder for people to learn, uh, especially in this day and age where it's not just smash or be smashed, right? Um, so I think that without that blueprint, the curriculum, the availability of collect, co connecting the dots, right? Because you put that out there and people don't see it for a while. They mm -hmm. train for a while and then it's like, oh, mm -hmm. now I get it. You know, now it's coming together. Or I see why we do these things and how they move to the next uh, he was talking about uh, Fabio and saying that, you know, if you're, you're concentrating on this move, but you need to know the move beforehand and the move after as well, right? Um, so at this point, I'm just following along, but I know the importance of it. Uh, I mean, it, take it back to its foundation, right? We're throwing all these good architectural puns into uh, <laughs> blueprints, foundation, but you, you got to you have to have something of on which to build upon. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have those things, if you're learning, you know, you're going into class, but you're more concerned about what you saw on your phone, um, than what your instructor wants to, to ground you in. Um, then I think at some point it's just going to be too much. It's going to be a, a, a sloppy mix. It's, there's going to be no real, um, there's going to be no substance to it. You know, and then things will just kind of fall apart easily, I would think. Maybe, yeah. No, I, I know what you're saying. It's like this. Jiu-Jitsu is complex, in my opinion. It, we, we say this often. Maybe people say this often. It's complicated. It's, 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 there's a lot of layers behind it, right? So it's like when we create the foundation, the strong foundation, simple things, controlling the distance, balance, 
um, center of gravity, things of that nature. You know, we put a lot of emphasis on it. We can use them all along as the jujitsu continues evolving and we continue growing within jujitsu. Mm -hmm. However, there's the other component of this entertaining, fun, more dynamic um, parts of jujitsu, right? Which um, are very visible on social media. You know, uh, where I'm TikTok or Instagram, all the all the video platforms. You know, it's very quick and easy. Seven second video. Oh, that was cool. I mean, listen, I'm doing it too, so it, it is what it is. But the point is that we often hyper focus on these complex, flashy, and entertaining techniques without deeper understanding what comes before, what comes after. Yeah, and, and that's, that's what not, Paul's that's not, talking about. Yeah, and that's and, not new, unique to jujitsu. That's that is. Um, you can see that through a lot of different mm -hmm. mediums. You know, you can see yeah. it in music. You can see it where mm -hmm. people don't understand um, the foundation, mm -hmm. the, the basics. Uh, and somewhere along the lines, no matter how flashy they look, mm -hmm. um, things will fall apart. You know, what well, I, th I think what happens to the grappler who's doing all that stuff and then is is forty years old. Was that at, at at you know you're doing it at twenty. It, I, I think so. Bear with me here for a second. Yeah. If you start with what's really popular now, let's mm -hmm. say, uh, or what's really flashy or what all the kids are doing, um, as you get older, you might still be progressing, learning new things, getting flashier and flashier. But at some point that you're going to hit, you're going to hit a, an apex. Um, you're going to hit a point where age, physicality and all that stuff, stuff starts catching up to you. And if you don't have the other stuff, which is the basics, to fall back on, that could be pretty crushing for you. I can't do all those things I used to do anymore. So jujitsu isn't fun for me anymore. It isn't um, entertaining. It isn't stimulating. Um, you know, and and where do those people go? Some of them might go, okay, I'm going to start over, and you know, with all that stuff I didn't know. But I bet a lot of them are going to be like. Can't do it anymore. It's not for me. You I know? think that point might be taken much sooner than that, what you're talking about. You're talking about somebody who will continue doing flashy or the, these cool things, mm -hmm. you know, continue evolving their jiu-jitsu over a period of years. I think that point of hesitance and quitting might be coming much sooner than that. Yeah. So what the way I'm looking at this is I'm going to do these inversions. But I'm going to, I see these inversions. These are super cool. This is month one of my jiu-jitsu, and I want to go upside down and do all these mm -hmm. crazy things. You know, and I'm going to try them. I'm going to try them. I'm going to try them. This doesn't work. This Jesus stuff doesn't work. And then there's right. hesitance, and then there is quitting. Right. Versus really understanding the mechanics, the basics, the core, the foundation of what is necessary to move your body in different directions. And once you understand this, that inversion comes naturally. See what I'm saying? Yeah, I think so. And, and your point of success is by far higher. You know, and but unfortunately, that comes with the cost of the grind, the cost with drilling, boring, you know, less entertaining factors, yeah, the, which are less appealing to a lot of people. I um, think the 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 boring aspect is probably where it gets younger people now. Um, it's like, what do I need to know that for? You know what I mean? It's like, you know, that stuff's boring. I don't need to know it. Uh, I'm going to catch you, you know, it's, you know, the leg game is, is all over the place. And it's like, you well, know, that's, that stuff's great. Go for it, man. Learn it. But at the same time, if you don't learn how to escape side control, you know, the, the day is going to come where somebody's going to take you down quicker than you can get to their legs. The day is going to get come where when you invert, somebody's going to smash you. They're just going to smash you and it's not going to happen for you. They know, they, they know, they have the foundation and they know your game. So your game is not going to work, right? Because they're going to be able to do what you do and all that other stuff. It makes me think of when people are like, oh, I would, you know, when they talk about how jujitsu doesn't work and, uh, you know, I would do this, I would do that. And then you can respond with, well, I would do all that too. And all that jujitsu stuff. <laughs> you know, and you have to have you have to have it. You have to have it all. I think. Well, I think one component, or at least to, know how to deal with it. I think one component for both of us to keep in mind is that we we We're are older. we are older, right? I mean, it, 
But no, look at look at somebody no like how you slice it. But yeah. we are older. I it, there is there is importance. I think of doing some of those things that we wouldn't do, mm -hmm. right? But I guess I'm not trying to discourage anybody from going inverted or doing flashy no. stuff or fun stuff. That, that's it. important too. You should do it because it provides a point of stimulation. However, the success comes much faster and much, I shouldn't say that, the success comes much greater when you focus on the fundamental core of the mobility points. Yeah, and then Understand, you build on that. And you build on that. Right. Understand how your body moves. Understand where the gravity pulls. Understand where your points points of balance and the posts are. Mm -hmm. And from there, you can almost develop your own thoughts. So it's like that analogy that somebody made on the show is, is either learning the words, memorizing the words, or mm -hmm. learning the alphabet and create your own words. Yeah. Right? It's like these two different analogies. Well, you know? And we often hear... The older guys, the, like the second or third of, of, you know, generation, you know, like the guys who started around 2000, maybe 90s. These guys often refer to these points of focus on fundamentals. This is really important. There's a lot of stuff going on out there. It's cool. Focus on the frame first. Focus on the space control. Control the distance. Manage the distance. From there, things get much, much easier. You know, I do believe that often people quit jujitsu not because they don't like it. They quit jujitsu because it becomes overwhelming. Yeah, and, 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 and they get they discouraged. They like it, so they, they say they don't they, like it. They get discouraged. Mm -hmm. You know, like I'm legit. I'm yet to meet somebody who was at the academy, didn't like it, didn't like jujitsu. Like I, I don't think I've ever met anybody. Like I'm, I'm trying to think about it, maybe. But it, even if so, it's a very small, small percentage. Yet, a lot of people stop doing jiu-jitsu. It's not because they don't like it or they didn't like it. It's because it was complex. It was overwhelming. You know, it, it, you know the priority shifted right. well, and those other things. The, some, right? of, some of those are reasons for not liking it. You know, I, um, so they, you know, they, they say that they don't like it because of. But what I'm saying, the core of the reasoning is. Yeah. It's not that I don't like jiu-jitsu. Right. Something caused me. To feel this way. Sure. That's what Absolutely. I'm trying to say. Yeah. So, it, you know, if we eliminate these points of friction, you know, our experience would be by far better. Yeah. Probably well, slower, but by far better well, with a higher success rate. And I think with today's world, unfortunately, we are impatient. We are very impatient. Yes. You have to get better quicker. You have to. Yeah. You, not only do you have to get better quicker, but you have to get always better than you were before, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Like you can't just, you can't. You can't grow. Um, we hyper focus on the results now, yes. not on the yeah. Work. And you can't grow little bits at a time. You have to. You have to grow more. Last this month than you did last month. It is, and then twice as much two months later, and a year later you got to grow. You know, it's it's this like exponential thing instead of this gradual building to get back to you know what we're talking about of one brick. Slap down the mortar, put another brick on, yeah. where it's like they want to put that whole wall up at once. Yeah. I used to work in a building where they put those whole walls up at once, and guess what? You'd put something in that wall, <laughs> and it would be on the floor, you know? And it, so it's, yeah, the building went up super quick. But the cat literally standing behind a doctor talking to him one day, just wasting time BSing, he put something in a cabinet, he shut the door, the cabinet fell off the wall. That's what happens when you build things too quickly and you don't do it right, you know? So think about that, I guess, a little bit more when you're when you're training and or or when you're doing anything is just take the time to to do it right. There's no quick fix. Build properly, slowly, um, with purpose. Jiu Jitsu takes time. Enjoy the grind. Embrace yeah, the it's grind. It's taken me a long, long time. Oh, there's so much ahead of you. There's more ahead of you <laughs> that's behind you, my friend. Oh, really? I'm hoping there's more ahead of me that is behind me. That's how I'm looking at it. Yeah. Well. That puts me in 60s. So Yeah, my days are numbered. <laughs> as I always say, hold on, hold people on. are like, you're middle-aged. I'm like, oh, only if I live to 110. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so. on, that, on that positive note, yes. let's wrap this up. All right. Later. See you. Thank you for listening to Raw Radio. 
If you enjoyed the show, don't forget to leave us a review and help us make the show even more amazing. For future episodes, check out our website and follow us on all major podcast platforms. Take care.